Hey guys, Matt here, and today I thought I'd show you the thought process behind one of my shoots uh, a few years ago. So it's the flower shoot that I done with Effie. Um, so I'm going to show you behind the scenes how I got the shot and also the editing process to get the final image. So the idea behind the image come to me after I was scrolling through Pinterest. Uh, so I saw an image that, you know, appealed to me. Can't remember exactly what the picture was, but I am um, put a post out on Instagram to so just put a post on my story and said, is anyone interested in doing something like this? And then one of my close friends got in touch and we arranged the shoot. So the idea behind the shoot was to make everything dark and light the flower up. So it's going to be more of like a backlit shot. Um, but first of all, obviously you needed the flower. So we went to our local Tesco. We didn't know how much flour we needed. Uh, in the end, we sort of overbought flour. I think we ended up having about sort of six to eight kilos of flour for the shoot. And when we were actually using the flour on the shoot, we started out, you know, quite reserved because we didn't want to make much of a mess. But um, as you'll see towards the end of this video, that sort of went out the window. So if we didn't get the shot, apply more flour, shoot again, didn't get the shot, apply more flour. Um, so before you knew it, half of the gym was covered in flour, not just in the area that we were shooting, it was actually all over the gym. So when it comes to the cleanup, it was quite messy. Um, but the results were very impressive. So we started out, first of all, just using bare flash, um, but it looked a bit sort of plain and boring, which is when I decided to then use the Lee Filters Colour Gels. So I used the Saturate Pack. Um, so from this, you've got very bright, bold, vivid colours. So when she was chucking the flower up, I had to make sure that I timed the shot perfectly because when I was actually shooting the picture, um, all of the ambient light was turned off. So we turned off the main overhead lights in the gym and then everything else is then just captured using the flash lighting. So I was using the Elinchrom ELBs. So what we do now is I'll jump into Lightroom, show you how the shoot progressed. So from our first sort of test shots, um, and then how it developed into creating one of these images here. So here we are within Lightroom, and I'm just going to show you how the shoot progressed to get in the very first sort of test shots, so making sure all the lighting was correct, to then get a bit more experimental using the coloured gels. So obviously the first thing to make sure is that you do get your lighting correct in camera, because the last thing we're going to be doing is doing a lot of editing within post. So you can sort of see we have these sort of first sort of few test shots um, without the flower, first of all, because we want to make sure that we weren't not wasting our time, but we want to make sure that when we started shooting correctly, um, that we had everything in action and in place to get the, the shot the first time. What we've done is I've got a strip box down along the left hand side and then another one on the right hand side. So just creating that sort of edge light. And then above, we ha I had a boomed uh, beauty dish. So creating a bit of a, a hair light. Um, as you can sort of, sort of see here. So the reason for the hair light was just to accentuate the flower going along the, the top there. So when Effie was chucking the flower up in the air, you had the side light for the sort of side profile. So just along the edge there. And then, excuse the facial expression, and then just sort of capturing the flower in the air. So those are the first sort of few shots that we captured. And then towards the, the middle of the shoot, I decided to add a coloured gel. But then when using the coloured gel, it actually sort of cut out a bit of the light as well. So I had to up the exposure on the lights, so just up the power a little bit. So you just got a blue light down, blue sort of purpley light on the left hand side, and then a bit of a, a red light along the right. So this is one of the, um, the images that I decided to go through and edit fully. So if I bring both of these up on the screen here. So this was the base image that we've got. Um, and then this was then the final edited one that I edited within 
sort of Photoshop. So not really much has changed. Um, obviously the background, I've had to remove the the gym from the background. So I used the black cloth. It was a Lastalite highlight and then just the black cloth was then sort of draping down. Ideally, it'd be better to shoot it in a bigger sort of studio, just so then you don't have to worry about cutting out uh, the background. But because I was shooting on black, it was sort of quite easy. So all I'd done within Photoshop was go through and then create sort of a layer mask around Effie and then the floor, and then cut her out and then just sort of darken the background from there. Um, and then you can sort of see it along the edge where the bottom area of the background was as well so if we go through oops, just enter the uh, develop tab so even after i put it from photoshop back into lightroom i did just do a few sort of minor tweaks just to up the the highlights so just to accentuate that top part there um, and then the color as well just added a bit more vibrance in it because I wanted to make sure the coloured lighting that we were using was as vivid as possible. And then for a few of the final shots, I actually turned off the main light that was above um, and then just had a sort of strong backlit, backlit image. So these are just sort of, you know, profile test shots. Uh, just increasing the power of the lights a little bit. And then this was probably my most favourite image from the shoot. So all we've done here, again, is just sort of two backlights on the side. So purple and then a red, and then just got Effie to get a load of flour in her hands and then just sort of clap, um, as I'll show you in this video. So that was how the image was sort of shot. Um, And then that was the final image. So all I've basically done was just up the shadows a little bit, um, as well as the whites, because they were sort of quite flat within the picture. Um, quite a lot of texture, because I wanted to accentuate the flower detail within the image. Um, vibrance as well, so increasing the vibrance. And then I believe within the curves, just a slight tweak of the curve layer. and then just accentuating the colours of an image. So because purple was sort of quite a heavy tone within the overall picture, I decided to, you know, boost that up sort of quite a lot in terms of the saturation. And yeah, so quite a messy shoot, uh, but a fun one nevertheless. Well, I hope you found that behind the scenes look into the flower shoot, not only informative, but also finding out the process of how I got the shot. So from planning and get the ideas through Pinterest to then messaging out to see who was up for the shoot, uh, to then working from the very first image to then the final images that we saw adding the color gel, getting a bit more experimental with the flower. So if you did enjoy this video, then make sure to drop a like down below and comment on anything else you'd like me to break down. And I look forward to seeing you all soon.